Welcome back to the channel, Cabs. Oh yeah, my friends, finally. Finally, right? We're finally getting back on track here. This is Las Vegas. This is a Royal Golf Course in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, this is four days of competition. Enjoy it, because at this point, because of something that happened on the very last day, of competition. I don't know how much more competition vlogs you're gonna see out of Mikey boy It's gonna be pretty drastic. So appreciate this really savor these vlogs my amigos You're gonna get four days of competition and who knows if you're gonna get any more out of Mikey boy I mean the channel will continue, but you never know Okay, that's enough. You guys are looking sharp my amigos uh, let's go ahead and get started, my amigos. This is a par 5, 580 yards. A booming drive. The only issue is, is it leaked out and ended up in the rough right here. So I grabbed my 7 iron. This is my 7 iron for 185 yards. And the pin was on the right hand side of the green and because I was in the rough I ended up uh, grabbing I grabbed a lot of the grass and then it hooked my shot which actually didn't leave me in a terrible spot but it was in this bunker and I was far away from the pin that was the only issue so I had to punch out with my 52 degree wedge right there. I left it well short of the hole, which is okay because that pin was actually on the end of the green. So if I would have gone over the uh, pin, it would have been a disaster. So that was a nice par. All right, this is hole number two. It's a 420 yard par four. Uh, once again, it faded a little bit more than I wanted, but didn't leave me in a terrible spot, I guess. The ball is well above my feet. The pin was in a tough spot, and there was a little bit of wind. There was probably about 14 miles of wind, so I ended up hooking the ball because the ball was above my feet, and I didn't adjust enough for it. I played a pitching wedge. It was a little bit too much. And you don't see it right there, but there's a downhill lie, and that's troublesome. So then I hit it a little bit long, and then I had to chip this back towards the pin. And I had put a good touch on that, and that's a par. That was nice. Okay, hole number three, it's 186, par three. 186 yards, so I went with my 7 iron. I wanted to come up a little bit short, and I did. I wanted to putt uphill, so that's a good touch. Put it onto the green. Uh, I think the wind was a little bit behind us also, so that helped uh, the club selection, and that's just a fairly easy two-putt par. Nice. My swing was nice too, guys. By this point, I believe I was three weeks into an adjustment or maybe four weeks into an adjustment. So I was pretty comfortable with my game. This is hole number four, 432 yards. It's a par four. I went driver and then I had a, my 52 degree wedge in right there. I had 118 yards in. And I just hooked that and I could see it now the reason why I was hooking it was because my club face was closed at a dress So I hooked it. I actually put it onto the green and then it just kicked forward and rolled into the bunker So I punched it out with my 56 degree wedge out of the sand and Then I missed my par putt that was bad Bad, bad. Considered I, I, considering I only had 118 yards to the pin, being in the middle of the fairway. Okay, here we go. 
Par five, 520 yards. This is hole number five. Uh, I bailed on it a little bit, left it to the right-hand side, but in the fairway, and then I went three wood. I, I went 245. I had 245 to reach the green. Went with my three wood, just backed off of it, maybe about 85%, and I put it onto the green. That's a good touch right there, guys. Now I just have to bump this up, get it all the way up there for an eagle. This is my eagle putt. And look at the pull on that. Yuck. 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 No good. No good. No good. Man. Yeah, I ended up parring the hole. Three putted after being on the green, and that was infuriating. So this is hole number six. It's 416 yards. It's a par four. All right. So I bailed on that shot. And the ball went far right into a bush. And I mean, it was right in the middle of a bush. So I took a little bit of time to look for it, found it, and then punched out of the bush. I didn't get the shot because number one, I was having issues with the camera. For some reason, it just wasn't recording. And then number two is I couldn't prop up, I couldn't stage the shot because the the tool that I used to poke into the ground, it just wouldn't go into the ground. You can see me, I'm kind of like walking around looking for my ball right here. And then I uh, found it, and then I punched back away from the pin. I had to punch out with my six iron out of this nasty thick bush. Luckily, I found my ball. Luckily, I was able to punch out and put myself back into play. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, I'm going to have some camera issues. I'm going to miss the last three shots of this hole. You'll see. So this is my third shot right here. This this hole, this hole, ball right here is completely buried. So there's not, there's not much I can do here. I had 140 in. I used my 9 iron and just tried to punch it out. I punched it out, put it uh, near the green. I actually didn't put it onto the green. I staged my camera. And then once again, I just had issues recording. I don't know why. I had to reset everything on the camera, which is really difficult to do while you're trying to play, you know, competitive golf. So I ended up missing the shots and I doubled that hole, which put me at three over. This is a par three. It's hole number seven. It was only playing 187. I hooked it with my seven iron into this bunker, this bunker, and then I just punched out very nicely, and that left me probably about eight feet for par. More, 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 more. Oh, yeah, kids. Oh, yeah. That was good. And by the way, I'm getting five strokes in Las Vegas guys my handicap has gone up because I was playing so bad for so long that my handicap has gone up all right here we go this is hole number eight 396 yards it's really short I don't know why I went with my driver but that's a really good thing look at that swing oh it's a thing of beauty nice and easy little 75% uh, shot. Oh man, I, I really like that shot a lot. So that left me 90 yards in. I used my 56 degree wedge and uh, put it on the pin. And I actually did put it on the pin, but it rolled out. So that's no bueno. No bueno, my amigo. That was my birdie putt. Came up a little bit short. And this is my par putt. Oh, yeah. This is uh, 368 yards. It's a par four. It's short. And uh, I just wailed on this. You can see that was probably my hardest swing, which I've actually gotten away from a lot. And I hit it right into the middle, and that left me maybe 45 yards. I don't know. This is short. I used my 56 degree wedge, 
I was just trying to punch it up there, trying to get it to stop. Uh, I hit it onto the pin, but because I hit it so low, it ended up rolling out. And all I need here is just a two putt par. So there's the first one. That was really short. You're gonna see, I'm gonna switch my putting style, guys, because I kept leaving putts short. And I wasn't sure why. I wasn't sure if it was the greens. I wasn't sure if it was my setup. It turns out it was my setup. So here we go. This is for par. And that's a par, my amigos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Friends. Okay. So I'll explain a little bit. This is four days of competition. It started on Thursday. Mini. Friday was a mini, and then the, the tournament actually starts on Saturday and Sunday. We're going to play Arroyo, Siena, Siena, Arroyo. It's uh, two courses in Las Vegas. Thanks for tuning in, kids. Savor these last vlogs, because you never know. You never know, kids. Okay.